Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing my July favorites video, and I cannot believe that it's already August, and July is already over. Where did July go? I don't know. So, August for me means school supply shopping and school clothes shopping, because in, like, early, early September, school starts for me, which kind of sucks, but I'll deal. I'll deal. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, I'm just going to be showing you my, ev not every day monthly favorites and my computer like shut down so this is my third time trying to upload this and if it doesn't work I'm just not uploading it. Not doing it. <laughs> not doing July favorites. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going because I don't want that computer to do whatever it did. So the first thing that I have is my Smooth Gator Pain Relief um, and this stuff is literally the bomb, my favorite thing ever. Um, so it's just a white, smooth, kind of lotion cream thing. And it's perfect for, sorry boys if you're watching this, but period cramps and, um, like muscle spasms or, like, soreness and, Anything that you 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 feel like uh, is painful, that's usually what I do. Um, I get not chronic migraines, but like they're seven months apart, so you could guess you could call it chronic. But um, if you have a, like a migraine or a headache, put it on your forehead, on your temples, back of your neck, and like underneath your nose, because when you smell it, it's going to trigger your brain to kind of cool down and um, not cure the migraine necessarily, but make it feel a whole lot better than it did. Um, when I get migraines, I get migraines huge, like really, really bad, like puking, sorry, and just like not being able to do anything. And it kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? I can't take pills for it because they're seven months apart. So the only thing I take is migraine relief stuff. So that's that, and I'm in love with it, and I love it. Um, so the next thing that I have is my Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm, and this is in the color Red Delia. Don't know why I've been loving this so much this month. I've been wearing it literally every day. I'm actually wearing it right now, which is kind of pathetic. But I love it so much, and this month I've been kind of crazy on moisturizing my lips because I'm finally getting into the swing of seeing my lips not dry, or er, dry and crackly and disgusting so I've been trying to get them wicked moisturized for when school comes around and usually around school time I get boyfriends and you don't want to to kiss your boyfriend and your lips are all dry that's just ew I wouldn't want my boyfriend's lips to be dry and none of my boyfriend's lips are dry when I kiss them so I don't that was totally irrelevant to this video but um so this is just like a reddish tinted color more of a purpley bluish tone than just red but this is a hundred percent natural because it is Burt's Bees and I love it perfect moisturizing Woo! the next thing that I have is Benefits What's Up Highlighter and this is in the color Soft Focus and it is a smaller trial size but I still love it like it is a regular size um it's not a pale shimmery ish kind of highlighter. It's more of a goldeny bronzy highlighter, which is perfect for me because I am Italian. 75%. Woo -woo. And so my skin is a lot more darker than other people's, especially in the summertime. So this is perfect for me since it is bronzy. And I just put it on my cheekbones, bones, and if I'm feeling it, I'll put it down my the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow and it it works out. Awesome. So definitely go recommend this. Benefit is my runner-up favorite high-end prop beauty makeup brand. <laughs> my number one is Urban Decay, but that's me. So, yes. The next thing that I have is my Scoonchi Brown Bobby Pins. And I don't know what is up with me, but not only this month, but, like, other, like, around whenever school ended, I've been wearing my hair up in a bun like almost every day which is awesome because I don't have to do my makeup in the summer I don't have to do my hair in the summer I just put it up and that's 
that's it. So, these are my bobby pins, and I use these for when guard season comes around, but I use them to put my hair up because, um, like right there, I put them in, like, when my bangs are flying out of my headband, I'll, like, set them down with a bobby pin, and it works perfectly fine. Love those. The next two things that I have are nail polishes, and this one is from OPI, and it's called Too Hot Pink to Hold Them, and this is probably one of my favorite, um, well, these are, these are my number two, number one favorites for my high end. I call this high end, but it really isn't high end because they're like seven dollars, but yes, this is just a hot pink with more of a reddish toned than just wicked hot pink but it is perfect for the summertime and I've been loving that color and this is from Essie and this is in the color Go Ginza this is probably my favorite color to wear when I have a tan you'd think that it would be okay for someone to wear it with a like pale skin tone which I'm sure it's perfectly fine but this I have really been um like surprised that it looks really good with the tan. So I've been loving to wear it this summer and that's what I have on my nails right now. And I've been doing my accent finger, party finger, a lot more. Don't know why, but yeah. And this is perfect. I definitely recommend go get it. It's super pretty. Love it. Ah. So not this month, but like more this month than any month. I've been wearing a lot of like foundation and powder more than I ever have underneath my eyes and like any blemish that I'll have. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my like face routine that I usually do. So this is my Revlon Photo Ready Powder in Medium Deep. And I absolutely love this powder. It's probably my favorite powder ever. Um, I did hit pan, which sucks because I don't have to go ahead and get a new one. And I hate going out and buying new powders because my mom secretly hates me wearing powder. And I hate asking her to go get it for me. So this matches my skin tone perfectly. It, you, it looks like when I wear it, I have flawless skin because of how well it matches my skin tone. So it is one of my favorite powders well, it is my favorite powder. The um, This is, like, the only powder that I use ever. I also have the Ame Wake Up Makeup Powder, but it does normally... I don't really like it because it's loose. This is just a set mattifying powder that I love to use. Woo! So, the next thing that I have is just a powder puff and... This is more of a foundation puff, but I just use it to dab underneath my eyes before and after... Um, I p apply the foundation and concealer underneath my eyes, and I just love it, and, ah, love them. The next thing that I have is my Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation, and I don't think you can find this some in other some place in, like, other places, but I believe you can find it some places, but I'm not really sure. But it looks like this, and this is in the color 255 Natural Buff. I usually use, usually use this underneath my eyes in the winter time because it's like around a good color for me when I'm paler so I don't like to use it in the summertime but I believe this is a foundation yeah it's an ultra hydrating cream whipped foundation and it's one of my absolute favorite things Sorry. um but I just apply it or use it on my ring finger and I don't know if you guys can see it still, but that little pimple thing that I have, it'll cover up any redness on it, which is awesome. I'll go ahead and show you guys, because I'm weird and like to show things in my videos. So, this thing that I have on me is very red, so this kind of just, like, takes away any redness. Now take my foundation pop and just dab it, and it kind of makes everything better, and perfect, I guess you could say. So that's that, and my favorite ever. I don't know, I'm weird. The next thing I have is my concealer, and this is my CG Invisible Concealer in Light Pale. Um, this is like four shades lighter than my skin tone, because it is in the lightest shade um, that I saw at the store. 
but um, it did match perfectly when I bought it because it was in the like fall winter time when I wasn't as pale as I am now but it just is like that kind of applicator and it blends out perfectly fine so I love to use it so yes that's that and last but certainly not least is my covergirl nature Lux foundation and this has an SPF of 10 so I like to use it in the summertime um, because it doesn't have a lot of SPF but it definitely has some SPF so this is a liquid silk foundation and I'm in the color 355 suede um, and it matches my skin tone perfectly it's like can you see how dark that is that's how dark I am like this is almost the darkest shade <laughs> kinda sad but um, the only thing that I hate about this is how small they are but um, I don't use them quite often so that is why that I l they come in handy so that is that and I kind of have it in a girly I don't know it's just whatever you know whatever. so the next thing that I have is a book and this is probably one of my favorite books I got it this month I've been trying to read it but do you see how thick this book is I'll tell you exactly how long it is. It is approximately 908 pages long. So this is called Les Miserables, and if you haven't heard about it, um, they did make a movie. They did make a movie of it. And it's from Victor Hugo, and it's about a little girl that is born into poverty, and she like is trying to live with this family that absolutely hates her and treats their daughter perfectly but this girl horribly um her mother dies from being raped which kind of sucks but yeah and then this um he's the mayor of a town but he used to be born he was born into poverty and he stole a piece of bread and was had to spend 25 years in prison for stealing bread we did that here. We wouldn't even get in trouble. Yeah. So then he turns into this mayor of the town, hugely populated town, um, and changes his life around and then brings this girl into his life and brings her up. And it's in about the French Revolution, so if you guys don't like social studies, don't buy this book and read it. But it's fr called Les Miserables. Pronounced Les Mis, I mean, like, abbreviated, and it is probably my favorite book. Woo. The next thing that I have is my good old Converse shoes. These are my favorite shoes. I've been wearing them every day this month, and I'm not even exaggerating. Um, so they have, like, neon strips down the side with they didn't come with this, it came with white uh, laces. I bought the neon yellow and I want to go get new laces because these are wicked dirty and they need new laces. So these are my absolute, ew! Sorry. These are my absolute favorite sneakers, uh, shoes ever. And yeah, I've been using them to kind of simmer down the cutie looks that I've been wearing a lot this month summer-ish thing, so yeah. So that is it for my July favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what your favorites are, and like, comment, subscribe this video. That would mean the world to me, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I love you so much. Woo! Goodbye! Castle! Shane Dawson's thing, but whatever. They won't end! <gasps>